name is Janie with JJ Ray Jewelry Design. And um, I just wanted to show you a little project that I've been working on. It's kind of a, a it is a takeoff from other projects that you've seen before, I'm sure. It's this little tassel made of gemstone chips. They're uh, fire opal chips. Let me see if I can get a light up here. I thought I had my light problems fixed. Lighting challenges. Okay, so what I've done with this is something that you've all done, um, especially with the Chunky Charms. I took an extra large bead cone. You can see this bead cone. And created a chunky charm out of it with fire opal bead chips. The challenge here was to find a gauge of wire that would fit in these tiny, tiny holes on these chips. There are chips that you can that have larger holes, but many of uh, the lesser expensive beadstone chips are very small. So the size of a chip, I think I probably have, I don't know, eight or nine chips on here. Not very big. This wire is a 26 gauge. That's all I could fit through these chips. So in order to give it extra strength, I kind of, I put the chips in the middle of the wire, made the chips form a semicircle. I crossed the two 26 gauge wires to tighten those chips up into a circle circle or as close to a circle as I could get. And then I twisted the wire to make it stronger. I'm trying to find my chromas here. My chromas girl or beaters. I uh, said that I would be using them on a upcoming video. And so far, you know, they work like regular pliers. I don't have anything um, bad to say about them. So now that my strength is in this twisted around this 26 gauge wire, I just shove it through one of my, one of the open links in this link chain that I'm using. I didn't bother to go through the entire uh, tutorial because you all know how to take a head pin or an eye pin and uh, make a wrapped loop. Put your stones on it and make a wrapped loop and then wrap it around the chain. So you do it, if you can't find a gauge to fit the whole of your chip, just twist, you know, put it on a smaller gauge, but just make sure you 
twist it together to give it strength. The other thing, working with fire opal here, and I love fire opal, you have to be careful of how you hold this when you're wrapping your chain or your, your twisted pins because they chip off really easy. So you don't want to do anything with them that requires too much wire work. It's just too easy to chip them off. Just look at how beautiful this is. I really love how it turned out. It's going to be my purse charm. So I just used about a two inch strip of 26 gauge wire, some chips, the um, chip strand started out this big and this is what I have left just a couple of these in the baggie and I don't know four inches left on the strand but I started out with this long um, probably 30 inch strand and this is <laughs> what it made right there. It's a great fall project if you're using Fire Opal. This would be great as a pendant. It would also um, be fun to do as a chunky charm. As I said, you can do um, earrings this way if you didn't wrap them so heavily <laughs> like I did. Um, there are just so many uses for this uh, technique. And I might not be the first one out here doing this, and I'm probably not going to be the last. But I just love Fire Opal, and when I can get it inexpensively and work with it the way I've done here, and be happy with the outcome, I think it's a win. So next time you want to do something really satisfying and really relaxing, this, this was a no brainer and it, it was fun to do. And there, like I said, there are so many things to, to do with this application, this technique. Sky's the limit, really. So I want to invite you to share this with as many people. Remember, 25 people, uh, 25 subscribers, then I get to do a huge giveaway. And, and people say huge giveaways. This one is definitely a large giveaway. It's nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. You'll be very happy. And if someone wins and that person, and you shared that person, how do I say this? If you shared this video to that person and they win, you also win. So there are two winners in this. If you're not, if you are the original share, that didn't make sense, right? Just share and like and comment and subscribe and notify and do all those things that we love to do so I can continue doing this. I love to do this. It's so relaxing and so refreshing after working <laughs> at a very tedious job all day. You don't want to make a mistake when you're working with precious metal and uh, <laughs> one of a kind gemstones. No. Here, I think I showed you this. Here is a fire opal gemstone that I broke. Look at that. Not happy at all. I can't put that back together. I think they probably shot this with glass. You know, 
filled in the crack with glass and sold it that way. It was brought in by a client of mine. So I end up having to replace that because, yeah, I broke it. I think I ran over it with my chair after I dropped it and pushed back to look for it. I'm bonded. I'm insured. Things do happen. Doesn't happen very often. But see, I've done it. It can happen to anyone. <laughs> and I'm rambling, so thank you. Have a great day, evening, night, weekend, and we'll see you on the next video. Make sure you give some random person a great big genuine smile today. Bye-bye.